Well, boat fans, hello, this is Tim from Boatshed Brighton, and today I'm on board this wooden sailing boat for a look around the interior in virtual reality or 3D with you. So, as I walk around the boat, you don't have to look where I'm looking, you can click and drag or touch your screen and drag and look anywhere you like at any point. And we hope this really great feature will give you a really good idea as to how this boat really feels inside and what it's like to be on board. So, yeah, hope you like it. Um, as much as I like this boat because she is utterly stunning and she attracts a lot of uh, attention from passers-by. Lots of people comment on her. She's beautiful looking and nothing gives me greater pleasure than to be on a boat like this. She needs work, she'll need continuing work, but if you like wooden boats, you'll probably like this one. But uh, let's see. So here we are, we're in the pilot house here. We've got uh, windows all round and a nice wide companion way here. I'm sitting on a, on a port bunk and the camera's on the starboard bunk, oh, sorry not bunks, seats. We've got storage on, underneath as well and just around the starboard side behind this seat here we've got a pilot berth for one, very natty, handy for uh, jumping out to the cockpit in a hurry and uh, on, the port, on the port side here we've got the engine controls, the main isolator, battery monitoring, um, automatic build pump controls and we've got the um, electrical panel here too. Oh, there's a sander there too, a bit of a giveaway, but it is a wooden boat, isn't it? There we go. Um, we've got this table here, which looks like a nice fold-out trial table to me, very handy. Just put her away. And above that, we've got a handheld VHF, uh, a normal VHF installed, um, a GPS unit here, which needs uh, wiring in by the looks of things. And also on the starboard side, we've got the echo sounder, and the compass which needs installing somewhere too but um, hey there's always going to be some jobs to do on this boat um, just looking around there just look at the features you've got the wood you've got the nice deck head um, feels classical she's quite narrow she's not beamy like modern boats but yeah very very nice indeed I really like this boat as you can tell let me take you down to the saloon for a look so I'm going to balance you here on the edge of the galley so that you can get a good look round for everywhere. As you can see, decent access down, got nice wide open area here, we've got the uh, sofa to the starboard, we've got a full length sofa to port. Again, looking at the, the features of this boat, we've got the wood, we've got the brass port lights, lovely deck head, look at the lamps as well, three of those in here, four in fact, just lovely, lovely, lovely. But also, um, we can see the, the interior of the hull here, all nicely exposed so that we can see it. It is a beautiful thing to look at if you like wooden boats. If you like something a little bit more modern, let's move forward to the galley. So as you can see, we've got the two burner stove here and a cooker underneath, a bit of stowage underneath too, tiny bit of work surface there, and uh, obviously we have a sink because it's a galley. So yeah, it feels very nice in here, and I should think of see it's a very cosy place to be as well. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let me move you forwards. So here we go, and we're into the forward cabin. As you can see, plenty of space. We've got the starboard berth, the port berth, and forward of both of those, we've got the basically the, the sail locker. And, and again, we've got the, the interior of the hull, all exposed, just lovely. We have got a hanging locker to the port, and uh, some stowage underneath the berth too. So again, uh, let's have a look at the standing room. I'm five foot nine. Um, actually, I'll just touch the bottom of the beam or the carling around the hatch here, uh, supporting the deck head. So, decent sized uh, headroom and even more where the hatch is, obviously. Um, so yeah, that's the forward cabin. I'll just briefly take you for a look in the head. Opening the door to that. There you can see, quite a compact head, but room for one, which is all you need really, and a slide out sink, so there we go. That's the white throne for you, everybody. And just close the door on that, and I'll take you back up to the pilot house. Put you down there gently. So yes, I hope you've enjoyed the tour, and that it gives you a really good feeling as to how this boat actually is, and if she might be one for you. If you'd like any more information, just go to boatshedbrighton.com for more pictures, videos, virtual reality. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've enjoyed looking at this boat as much as I have done. And have a lovely day.